In political news, the Missouri presidential preference primary is Tuesday. So how is the state preparing? Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft says his office is continuously preparing for the next election, but some responsibilities fall on local election authorities. The threat of an outside force disrupting elections is something the Secretary of State says he takes seriously. We've uh, actually paid for white hat hacker teams to go in and attack county election authorities, boards of elections, both from a physical standpoint and from a cyber standpoint and say, how can you try to breach their defenses? Give us a report from top to bottom, their policies, their procedures, their network, their hardware, their personnel. Ashcroft adds his office has been taking steps to verify voter information so there are fewer delays at polling places. Well, checking on national news, Facebook says it will now remove some Trump re-election campaign ads to prevent confusion about the upcoming U.S. Census. Facebook had come under fire for letting the Trump campaign run ads this week, asking people to respond now to an official congressional district census. Democrats have criticized Facebook for its policy of not fact-checking ads run by politicians, a policy Democrats say benefits President Trump. The Trump campaign declined to comment on Facebook's move. Well, the man accused of opening fire at a Southern California Jewish synagogue last April is facing the death penalty. A spokesperson for the San Diego District Attorney said they will seek the death penalty against 20-year-old John T. Ernest. Ernest rushed into the building on the last day of Passover and fired at worshipers. One woman died and three people were wounded, including the rabbi and an eight-year-old girl. Harvey Weinstein is being moved from Belleville Hospital to New York's infamous Rikers Island prison. The 67-year-old movie executive had a heart procedure on Wednesday, during which doctors inserted a stent. Weinstein was convicted of sex crimes during a trial last month in New York. He could spend the next 5 to 20 years in prison. His sentencing is scheduled for March 11th, and Weinstein is still facing additional charges in California. Well, now a quick look at consumer news. Toyota has expanded a recall of its vehicles by more than a million due to fuel pump issues. In January, Toyota recalled about 700,000 vehicles. The company said the total now stands at 1.8 million. The vehicles include some popular late year models like the Highlander, Tacoma, Camry and Corolla. Many versions of Toyota's high end Lexus brand have also been recalled. Well, mortgage rates just hit another low. On Tuesday, the Federal Reserve announced an emergency rate cut, slashing the benchmark interest rate range down to 1.25%. That cut, along with a rock-bottom 10-year Treasury yield and continued coronavirus fears, means mortgage rates could be poised to head even lower. According to Freddie Mac, the average 30-year fixed-rate mortgage fell to a record 3.29 percent this past week, the lowest in the nearly 50 years of Freddie Mac surveys. Well, still ahead, a man in Kansas City made a special connection with a shelter pet. See the unique way the dog found his forever home after this break.